Welcome back guys. Today we're going to talk about CorpseCon. It's a great converting software tool. Um, say you have your GCPs and stapling coordinates and you need to convert them to UTM or latitude and longitude or vice versa. This program I believe is a must have in your uh, toolbox. Anyway, CorpseCon is uh, produced here in the Army Corps of Engineers. You can download it. It's a free program. You can download it directly from their website or we will have a link um, on our website to, to download it also. But Let's go ahead and get started. Under the help menu, you have a user guide menu. User guide here is great, guys. It's a lot of information, goes in a lot of detail. Uh, I think they did a really good job um, as far as a, a good help menu. Um, also, under the help pull down menu, we have UTM zones. Um, it's a great, just a quick guide. Um, I apologize, guys. This is mainly set up for the United States program. Um, but you can tell, we can quickly tell what UTM zone we are in. Um, so we want to go by county. We have the 27 datum, we have the 83 datum, and we have the UTM. We can go here and click any county that we want and it will tell us what zone that we are in. Um, the next menu is the constants. constants. Um, state plane zone gives it the Lambert projection or the Mercator. Um, for those who really want to know all about that, you definitely can find that information in these pull down menus. And last but not least, degrees, minutes, and seconds converter, guys. Um, I do not recommend this tool. We'll have other videos and other resources um, that will make this process a whole lot easier. But that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to go to the setup menu. And we're going input, to input whatever input coordinates we have to the output coordinates. Um, this particular job we shot in state plane coordinates, and I want to convert it to latitude and longitude. Um, you can tell here you're you're able to choose any any coordinate system that you want. Then again, we start we shot state plane coordinates, and it's going to be in NAD 83 um, here in Oklahoma and Tulsa, so I'm 3501 from a state plane coordinate zone. You can tell, guys, it's very important that you find out what zone you're in. And we will also have other videos. If you do not know or cannot find what zone that you're in, we'll have a video of showing you what uh, where to research that and where to get this number. U.S. Survey Foot, um, guys, I do recommend that you know the difference between U.S. Survey Feet and International Foot. This will throw off your coordinate systems and drive you crazy. Vertical Datum, uh, we shot these in 88 Datum, but you can also tell that they have other Datums available as well. U.S. Survey Foot, uh, we want to convert this into Latitude and Longitude, Geographic. But then again, guys, you can convert this to any of these zones. Um, 83 Zone. Vertical, and we're going to convert this into meters, from feet to meters. One, the only other thing that might be important for some of you guys is that you're able to select the option of changing your X and Y and Y and X in this menu. Uh, I personally don't. I keep everything north and, and eastings, and then if I need to switch these two around, I do that through Excel. I'll go ahead and hit, once this is all set up, hit OK. We'll go to manual conversion. Um, say you had one GCP that you want to convert, you can actually go in here and hand type these coordinate systems in. Um, you can also select the decimal degrees, what's the, what the output format is for the latitude and longitude, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Um, most of your software nowadays is going to ask for decimal degrees. We're going to hit convert, and as you can tell, we went from state plane coordinates to latitude and longitude in, in meters. Uh, we'll go ahead and close that down. Most of us have more than one GCP and would be very time consuming if we had to do a type each coordinate in one at a time. So this can uh, convert CourseCon data file. Um, you can do batch files. And to give it kind of a quick example, uh, this is the file that we're going to input. My point number, my northing, my easting, elevation, and description. Um, guys, you do not have to worry about taking out the description. But I just wanted to give you a quick view of what the original input state plane file looked like. But we'll go ahead and close this down. Okay, so we're going to look for this file. We're going to browse. Um, Goat Hill is what we called it. This is a project we did previously here in the Oklahoma area. And we are on the state plane coordinates system 3501. I highly recommend when you guys store your GCPs that you just get in the habit of labeling your file of what coordinate system you're in. Um, trust me guys, this will 
come in handy in, in future use when you're a year from now when you're trying to figure out what coordinate system is what. But anyway, we'll go ahead and hit open. Go ahead and browse for the output file. And this is how I do it, guys. I'll go ahead and click this. Come here. We'll delete back to GCPs, latitude, longitude. And the, the key to this is, guys, we have to type in the file form, CSV or TXT. If you do not type in .CSV or .TXT here, it will not convert. Um, this little, little thing will just drive you crazy. But after we do this, we'll hit save. We'll hit convert. And as you can tell, we have a great batch file that converted for us. Latitudes, longitude, set up really nice. Um, last but not least here, user defined file. This is for more of your advanced um, options here. Same thing guys, we have to browse and look for that for the original file. And then we browse and we have to put type it in just like was did before remember we have to type in the csv or txt and then uh here these little input files um we can change the order that they appear in um, when we hit convert say we wanted latitude before we wanted longitude we would change these values from three to two um, also here guys a little x and y if we wanted to do uh, y and X, we can switch this from value to 3 to value to 2. We can also change the output format, decimal degrees one more time, degrees, minutes, and seconds, and so on. And we can also do tab, space, or comma. That, guys, is how we use CorpseCon. Like I said, I believe it's a great tool for your toolbox. Um, if you have any questions, please email us or jump on our Facebook group page. Thank you so much.